hello everyone, um, Isana here, and today I'm bringing to you my game of week 4 of the Little Cup Premier League. So, um, this week my team, the Remoraders, is facing the Om Nom Snoms, and uh, I have the chance to play uh, my good friend Paraplegic. Um, Paraplegic is the doubles OU tier leader, and uh, recently has been um, having a blast in Little Cup, and uh, I was really excited to play him. He's for sure a really, uh, really good player overall, in general. I mean, so yeah. Um, I didn't have a really specific prank against Paraplegic, but um, <laughs> as you can see, I loaded a really uh, weird-looking team. So um, what I wanted to do, I wanted to to build around uh, Life Orb Onyx, um, which is uh, probably not something. Uh, we'd see really often. Um, so the idea is that um, Onyx is uh, kind of um, kind of walls coughing, so he can s set up substitute on the coughing and then abuse uh, life orb power without using Dragon Dance. Um, since uh, substitute and protect would take two move slots. Uh, and at the same time we have a uh, life orb Diglett with Sludge Bomb since I think that's our a uh, really powerful set that is really hard to switch into right now. Um, and then the rest of the team is kind of tailored to fix the holes. Um, Larvesta to uh, check Rookie and uh, Sanshu as a steal because I needed uh, a little more removal uh, for the team. Um, I also added a Timber which is a second removal which, which is um, not what usually uh, a lot of teams, a lot of teams usually run Natu, but I couldn't fit Natu on this team, so I did not have a Natu. I had two uh, hard removals with Rapid Spin and Defog instead, and uh, my Slow Poke to finish it off. This is probably the first time I used Slow Poke. Um, it was to cover um, to cover Natu and to cover um, to cover Psychic types in general a little better than uh, something like Fridish would have. So. Um, <laughs> Uh, one thing to one th interesting thing that I really liked is that my not my uh, my slowpoke actually has zap cannon. Um, zap cannon is to um, to be able to uh, to paralyze the opposing Natu without resorting to because T wave doesn't work on Natu, so zap cannon is kind of a safer option against it and allows it to beat it because my the rest of my team is really bad against Natu. So since uh, the, my steel the Alolan Sanctuary can't check it. And Timber, of course, is pretty bad against it, and the rest doesn't doesn't reliably check not to, so that's why I went for a Zap Cannon Slowpoke here. Um, on the up on the opposing team, honestly, it looks like a, a good matchup for me. Paraplegic brought um, Natu and uh, Abra Psychic uh, Double Psychic Core, uh, com combined with Coughing, which is really good for my Onyx. And uh, what we see here is actually no um, no fire resist, so. Um, I guess Trap Pinch would be the fire check uh, usually, but Larvesta can't get trapped because it can U-turn, so that's really good for me. And um, yeah, what I had to watch out for is probably getting my Sanshu worn down and Abra sweeping, but I also have the Diglett, so it might not be that big of a problem. So I guess it's still not too, the, 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 that could be the main issue. So enough, enough on preview, let's just start right, uh, get right into the game. So um, on the lead, I figured that um, uh, Larvesta lead would be obvious enough since like it, it does so well, it can't get trapped, it's very safe to go Larvesta uh, to counter the Mianto lead, but he had an Abra, so I decided to go to lead with Diglett instead. Um, and I didn't do catch the Abra, like worst case scenario, he goes, he goes Mianto, uh and I switched back to Larma and Larvesta, it's no big deal, right? Uh, going Diglett covers Abra, but also covers the Coughing lead. Um, coughing lead that would want to catch Larvesta with the Sludge Bomb or something. So that was a good lead on my part. Now, um, when I went here, I went for Substitute as he went Mianfu. Um, my Substitute was the idea to cover the Natu switch in. If Natu went in, I can Substitute, then Rock Slide do a, a whole lot of damage, like probably 70% in Natu, 60 or 70%. And then Natu's gonna be crippled for the next time and just die to another attack. Uh, fortunately, he went Mianfu. Um, 
which is a good play. But it, if I if I had earthquake there, I would have gotten uh, I wouldn't gotten a free kill on the main food. Um, another thing I, why I didn't I went for sub instead of earthquake is I didn't want my trap pinch to revenge kill with first impression or something or earthquake because my diglet looked really good and was a really good check into Diabra, so I didn't really want to trade anything for the diglet, even the Mianfu, potentially. So, um, he did make a good play, he goes the Mianfu, now I can't really attack because he's gonna U-turn into the Trap Pinch and trap my diglet. So I went for Hard Larvesta here, which is not a bad, which is pretty good, like I'm not losing anything. And now, um, that Mianfu gets burned, which is really good for me. Oh and yeah, apparently uh, he was trying to switch out, but he didn't. Ca he couldn't cancel after he clicked. But yeah, it's no matter. Uh, it also revealed uh, the Abra switching out. Also revealed the Abra to be Shed Shell, by the way, uh, which is kind of good because Life Orb otherwise would be problematic. But at the same time, I can't trap it with Diglett. So, so he went. He goes to Abra on my Larvesta and goes right back to Mianfu. Uh, predicting that I would keep my uh, my health on Larvesta, so I went for the uh, or rather, sorry, not to keep my health. So I just went for U-turn, yeah, um, because my his Abra can't kill my Larvesta, and Mianfu is already burnt, so the HP is not as important. Whereas his Abra is more important, yeah. Um, so he just saved his uh, Abra there and, and covered U-turn, and now I went straight to Timber because first of all I don't have much else against Mianfu. Uh, Slowpoke has Psychic, but I didn't want Slowpoke taking a knock. Um, I also wanted this Mianfu knocked um, to be in range of something like Psychic or Triple Axel from Elden Shrew or to weaken it for Onyx. And um, honestly, Timber here, I'm really happy to trade knocks because Timber is really useless in this matchup. Like, it's it doesn't do much. Like, not to Trap Pinch, uh, not sorry, not to Abra and Coughing. All, um, all countered pretty hard, uh, at least on at least uh, 1v1. So um, the timber, I didn't see much value, so I just went for the for the knockoff uh, knockoff trade. I was really happy with that. And then um, he goes for the U-turn, and uh, I just decided to drain punch here uh, to cover for uh, potential manfu sack with high jump kick. And also because I don't really want to knock the coughing, um, because I'm gonna switch into something else onto coughing, and don't really want him to thief the thief whatever my switching is, whether it be slowpoke or onyx or whatever. Um, so now I go slowpoke here, and uh, he goes for sludge bomb. Uh, thankfully, no poison. Um, and I think here I make a misplay. Um, so I went, uh, I just went for the teleport on the slowpoke. So I think that was a misplay, um, because after I get the Sludge Bomb now, um, he has like, he has about, he has two options. Either he stays in and Thunderbolts or, or Sludge Bombs again, uh, to get as much HP on off on the Slowpoke as possible before it switches out uh, due to end gas, uh, neutralizing gas, uh, neutralizing the uh, Regenerator. Uh, either he does that, or he tries to save the coughing and goes to something like Pharaoh Seed. Or, uh, yeah, probably just Sparrow Seed. Um, I think uh, what I did was pretty bad because um, it allowed Slowpoke to be really low, and that's actually uh, kind of risky because Slowpoke is my only not to check on this team. Um, and I think what I should have done is either, uh, I, I'm not gonna say I went for Psychic because Psychic it would have uh, been, been bad against uh, Sparrow Seed Switching. But I, what I should have done, I think, is uh, I should have just gone hard Onyx without teleporting. This way, like he's he's almost never gonna go Willowis here, so I can save some health on the Slowpoke if he attacks. And if he does not attack, then I get uh, then I, I don't get that I, I don't get punished that hard, right? So I guess I guess if he goes Fair of Seed, it's still been, still been annoying. But I can just I go to Timber right after and uh, defog any rocks. Um, if that happened, yeah, so either go Onyx there or maybe Psychic. Um, anyways, uh, I got my Slowpoke pretty low with this, which is not ideal, but at least my Onyx gets a free switch in onto the coughing. And um, 
and this is really good for me. Um, basically, um, I could I could go substitute right away, but I figured I figured he was gonna wasn't gonna he wasn't gonna he was gonna switch uh, keep his coughing out to go to Pharaoh seat since Pharaoh seat is still at full. And uh, me, I didn't want to reveal substitute too early, so I just went for the high horsepower here to get some chip on the Pharaoh seed, which is I think a fine play. And here, um, I go to Larve straight away because, and, and he goes for the Giga. So I could have gone uh, Timber to prevent the rocks, but I figured um, he could, um, he, he might be just uh, draining to get, get some health back. And uh, because my my timber has really low special defense, um, that would have been, that actually a lot of damage. So I, w I went Larve just to deny the regen, so that Onyx can wear this thing down easier. Uh, and at the same time, if he set up rocks, then like my Larve is already inside, it is already on the field, and I can just return to the timber, anyways. So this works out for me, and. I uh, he goes back to Mianfu, probably predicting a U-turn and saving the Pharaoh Seed in case I attack. And I go for the Flame Charge. So um, this is defensive Larvesta, but I still have Flame Charge because I just feel like uh, because I think Papillon and I were, were talking about it, and it's actually pretty decent um, as a as a surprise option because you don't usually expect um, Larvesta to be Flame Charge, and uh, in some cases it can just win games. Like for example here, where, where there's no Fire Resist. Um, so he tries to chip my larva a little, and then goes just to um, to Pharaoh Seed, sacks the Pharaoh Seed to get some health off of my Larvesta. And admittedly, very little health off. Like I'm still over half. Like I can, I can still take any hit from Yanfu. Probably not any hit from those special attackers though. But I mean, it's still a pretty healthy Larvesta, especially because I don't need it that much anymore. To check in through. Uh, now uh, Onyx is in a really good position and Diglett as well because Pharaoh Seed is dead, um, so Onyx can just literally like almost one hit kill everything. Uh, these uh, Minfu coughing Abra all don't want to take high horsepower. Natsu gets wrecked by um, one hit KO'd by Head Smash. Trap Pinch is uh, getting low at this instant or as I U turn. To the timber, I don't, actually don't have a great um, ground switch in, and now that slowpoke is uh, slowpoke is weakened, so I just decided to sack the timber because like it's not very useful. Um, I just go for the knock here, and I just sack the timber to prevent the coughing from stealing anything or region uh, or paint splitting to get the health back. So t timber dies, and I go to onyx again. This is still another great position. And now I go for the sub while he doesn't have another switch in. And he tries to go Memento, which is actually really uh, an uncommon move. Uh, I'm not sure how it fits onto this team. Um, um, but I guess we'll f I get apparently uh, the Natu, uh, I, I, I discovered like after the game, it was Cosmic Power Natu. So it makes sense, it made sense for this to be Memento. Um, to Ease, to make it easier for for not to set up, but unfortunately for him, um, Mento failed on the substitute, and I just uh, got a got a free attack off on to the and um, uh, he he made a good play as I went for protect, scouting for a high jump kick because only the high jump kick can break the Onyx's substitute now, uh, and then I go I win the tie and go for head smash. Uh, and I knocked the Natu out. Apparently, after the game, he told me because it's cosmic power Natu, it didn't even couldn't even break the substitute. But I was still lucky to get the tie there. And now this is yeah, he says this is bad. This is really bad for him. Um, now all, both of his potential Diglett checks are gone. There's still the trap pinch, but now trap pinch is going to be in range of Diglett as well. And there's no just there's just no good way of beating this life orbonics. It's just too powerful. <laughs> um, I just go, um, high horsepower is really free there because it, there's literally no switch in. So now what he tries to do, he tries to uh, fish for a high horsepower miss. Um, I, it was better for me not to switch out because um, I need Diglett to like kill this and if it's behind a sub I don't have a beat up. 
so uh, it might be more troublesome if I um, if I if I somehow missed or if I switched out or something. Uh, then I would rely on Alolan Shen Sanshu um, using Triple Axel to hit uh, more than once uh, on the Abra to break the sub and to break the focus for the focus punch, uh, which I assume this is um, because it's Jet Shell and substitute. Um, so I, had, I would have had to go for um, the triple axel. Thankfully, all of my hit, all of my high, horf, high horsepower hit, so which makes the tasks a, task a little easier. And um, eventually, when he's can't put a sub anymore, he's just gonna go for the psychic to kill. But now, now, now that this is, can't put a sub anymore, and can't I can just like the slowpoke here. And the rest of the game is pretty much over because none of, none of this can beat Diglett. Uh, yeah, so that was pretty much the game. Um, that was actually a very smooth game, uh, way smoother than I expected. Um, <laughs> with a very whack team, uh, Sancho Lolo didn't even get to hit the field, but I think this team is actually pretty cool. It's very unorthodox, uh, and I'm really proud. Um, I'm really proud of having uh, come up with this team with Happy Young. So um, this was a really clean game for me. Um, kind of compensates my two losses in the um, last two weeks. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the, my game this week. And um, actually, uh, after this game today, um, Car uh, the King Carp and Papy uh, together we um, we use this team on the ladder. <laughs> and actually, uh, just before a video on Carp Channel, and actually uh, encountered Paraplegic again. So um, that was a we had a, we had a fun rematch, and we had some really fun games on the ladder overall, especially with Zap Cannon. So I'll put a link in the description to Carp's video, and um, please uh, please consider leaving leaving his video uh, leaving a like to his video uh, and subscribe to his channel. Of course, uh, if you're um, if you like my video, please, um, if you could consider um, leaving a like and subscribing to my channel, that would mean a lot. Um, so that's it. that's about it for me. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one.